In this video, I'm sharing with you my finger style arrangement of Oh, What a Beautiful Morning. So let's begin with a demo and then we'll move into our lesson. This arrangement is for low G tuning, and if you're not yet familiar with reading tablature, then see this lesson link above, where I'll help you to get started reading tabs. If you're enjoying this arrangement, please show my channel some love by giving this video a thumbs up. Now, if you've been following my lessons for a while, then welcome back. And if you're new here, then welcome. I'm Lara. I'm a musician and a composer, and I love to teach fingerstyle arrangements and song tutorials for all levels. You'll find all of my fingerstyle tabs, song sheets, and song books on Patreon. The link is down below in the video description. Next, in our tutorial, we'll walk through the chorus section of the song, step by step. This arrangement is in 3-4 time, which means that every measure consists of three quarter notes. The rhythm is 1-2-3. One, two, three. And the tempo is 135 beats per minute. So if you set your metronome at 135, you'll have three beats for every measure. In this lesson, we're going to walk through the chorus section of the arrangement, which starts in measure 18. So let's first count the rhythm of measures 18 through 21 at a slow tempo. One, two, three. measure 18 with our ring finger on the third fret of the second string. We're going to play an arpeggio or a broken chord through strings 4, 3, and 2. Our melody note is the second string, so we want to play the second string the loudest in this arpeggio. Then we'll play the open second string, then the fourth fret of the fourth string with our pinky, in measure 19, we'll go to the open 3rd string, then the open 2nd string, then the 3rd fret of the 2nd string with our ring finger, and in measure 20, we're going to place our index finger and middle finger on the 1st fret of strings 2 and 1. 
Here we'll pick strings one, two, and three together. And then in measure 21, we'll lift up our middle finger, keeping our index finger in place. Measures 22 and 23 are played the exact same way as measures 18 and 19. So now let's count out the rhythm of measures 24 and 25. One, two, three, one, two, three. We're going to maintain our G7 chord shape through both of these measures. So here we have our index finger on the first fret of the second string and our middle finger and ring finger on the second fret of strings three and one. We'll start measure 24, picking the third string, then the second string, and now we're going to place down our pinky on the third fret of the second string. Then in measure 25, we'll pick the first string, and we no longer need our pinky on the second string, so now we can lift it up, and now we'll pick the third string, and then we'll finish measure 25 on the second string. Measures 26 and 27 should look familiar. Then in measure 28, we'll place our ring finger on the second fret of the first string and our index finger on the first fret of the second string. We'll pick strings 1, 2, and 3 together for 3 beats. 1, 2, 3. And then in measure 29, we have a partial F-sharp diminished 7 chord. Now to make this easy, what we're going to do is form our standard G7 chord shape and move it up one fret. We're going to pick strings one, two, and three again. So here we have our index finger covering the second fret of the second string and our middle and ring fingers covering the third fret of strings three and one. One, two, three. In measure 30, we'll keep our ring finger in place on the third fret of the first string. We'll start this measure by playing an arpeggio or a broken chord through all four strings. Now here the first string is our melody note, so we want to play this string the loudest in this arpeggio. And next we'll place down our middle finger on the third fret of the second string, and then we'll lift it up to play the open second string. The rhythm of this measure is one, two, three. In measure 31, we'll go back to our G7 chord shape and we'll play an arpeggio through all four strings. Then we'll pick the second string and then the third string. So the rhythm here is one, two, three. And then in measure 32, to finish the chorus, we're going to pick the open third and fourth strings together for three beats. One, two, three. For more of my easy finger style arrangements and tutorials, see this playlist here. Have fun learning Oh What a Beautiful Morning, and thanks for watching.